Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your Fire Friday. So this is for the fire sign Sagittarius Leo Aries. I hope you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. If you're interested in any timestamps, bookings, or any of my other social media links, please check out the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. What is the shamanic medicine oracle for this fire friday leo sagittarius aries mm, um you guys are coming in with a lot of support right now at this time so you might be seeing a lot of like insects that's just indicating that you have a lot of support i don't know if somebody's afraid of them because i feel like somebody like ew <laughs> um also, be very careful because there might be some type of trickster sending stuff too. So, you know, the, I'm feeling like some of those things might be mixed in. So you might be receiving insects from enemies, but also you are supported. So don't be feeling like, you know, you're just being under attack all the time. Let's see. Oh goodness. What? Medicine will continuation. But y'all had a similar reading for another element. I'll put it like that. What's the news for this reading? Fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Hermit. Hmm. So we got Virgo energy here. This indicates energy of someone who takes the time to go within, possibly isolate themselves, to get to know themselves on a deeper level. So this might be how you're feeling. The medicine will also, when I see this, it's like you might need to put yourself in a circle of light or around a circle of crystals like a grid let's get some more here hmm All right, fire signs, we're starting off with this king of swords. So you might have to defend yourself in some way. I don't know exactly how you're going to defend yourself, but I feel like you're going to have to stand your ground in something. Because I'm seeing like with this chariot card, you might be going to war. It could be a spiritual war. So now that's making me think that that's why the trickster, I've seen the trickster card in the insects too, because there's some type of spiritual war that you're going through. The two of this. Hmm. This is the energy of back and forth. It could be seen as juggling as well or indecisiveness sometimes. And then we got the two of swords. So twos is coming out. There's two that came together. It's a possibility that some unseen forces have been sent your way with this magician card being right here. But again, you are protected because the six of swords is here. So you're being guided as long as you listen. And with the hermit card coming out, I feel like you're listening. So continue to listen to the guidance that you're receiving from your spirit team when it comes to where you should spend your time and energy. And also, it could could be that you're going to be harvesting something so that you can move forward in a way like maybe you're going to be like kind of getting all your things together and then moving something like that what's the veil of a set what's behind the veil hmm. we got i10 right here the sun so Leo, but it's also enlightenment, happiness, you know, sailing away. Hmm. 
the seven of scarabs equivalent to the seven of deaths like i said whatever this is that you're cultivating or that you're trying to harvest it's very important at this time. I feel like you like nurturing it as a like a baby, okay? Protecting it. That's why the King of Swords is here. But you're quietly doing whatever this is, whatever work that you're creating. I feel like you're not really saying too much about it. You're just keeping it to yourself so that it can come through in a good... You, so that you can get a good harvest. That's the best way I could put it. What's this King of Swords? For unks. Hmm. Okay, Aries, you out here. Because we got Amura. The Emperor card. The Three of Scarabs. And then the Six of Scepters. So, like I said, it's time for you to defend yourself and stand in your sovereignty. Okay? So, fire signs, y'all got to stand your ground. Because... There's something going on behind the scenes with the Three of Scarabs. There's some type of collaboration that's going on. And they're trying to create some type of downfall because maybe you're a public figure or you're someone that is receiving some type of recognition. And someone doesn't like that. I feel like you're not having a connection with them. You kind of took back your chalice or your unk and you moved forward. And people are seeing this. So they're trying to plot on you or something. What's the chariot? Queen of Scarabs. Hmm. So this Queen of Scarabs energy could be the one. It could be someone who has Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, highly aspected. But this person is doing that because this is how they feel. The scry This is the Nine of Scepters. So they doing it out of some some reason this person feels like they're going to be left out or they're going to lose out or they are carrying a lot of burdens. Maybe this person has a lot of things in their life and they're trying to keep you around for some type of financial help. But this could also be a new partner that's coming in as well that wants to work with you. So I'm feeling two different things because the two of this being right here. So it's like you got a choice to decide to keep dealing with something that's giving you a lot of hardship and a lot of pain or something that could be a uh, asset to you. What's this two of this? Because these two look kind of, this kind of look like um, Nefertiti and both. What's the two of this? Yeah, you have something that can br bring happiness to you, but with this five of scepters, it's almost like you're going to have to fight through this. I feel like whoever this queen of scarabs energy is, they're very highly sought after. So they probably have a lot of suitors and these people don't want you to connect with this person. This is going on behind the scenes. Or you could possibly be seeing it and maybe this person is kind of keeping a blind eye to the situation. It could be you or it could be the other person. But I feel like you're successful and then you got all these like people that are, you know, they're not as successful as you. But they're trying to keep you down because it's like once you and this person come together, you can become a power couple. Because I'm seeing this as like the king of scarabs right here with all the gold. And then he's got these four guys that's like trying to hold him back or block him from getting to his happiness yeah the lover's card right here oh i'm on point i'm on point the king of scarabs right here i told you you got happiness coming in with your partner okay the lover's card right here it's gonna be a breakthrough as well once this happens nice but i don't think you I don't think this person is looking or you're not looking. Somebody is in hermit right now. So they're not seeing this coming. It could be you or the uh, I don't know, y'all. What's this two of swords? <laughs> you know, let me know in the comment section what it is, okay? Yes! Ten of scarabs. This is the person that's meant to build abundance with you. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo this person is single the nine of scarabs so again i don't know if this is you or if this is the other person but whoever this is they waiting for you to bring that 
or you're waiting for them to bring that to make this ten of scarabs this would be something that would be a wish fulfillment for both parties but right now i feel like somebody feels like they're being left out or they're being pushed away from something and it's coming from these other people so they doing stuff behind the scenes man whoever these four guys are i don't know if these are your friends or if these is like you know people that act like they're your friends they're sabotaging your connection because they see if you do come together with this person it's going to be something that's going to be successful for generations to come the magician right here so you're dealing with somebody who's manipulating something what's this magician yeah that's the breakthrough that's that's the tower moment for you to recognize where this is coming from, where this ma magic and manipulation is coming from. Queen of Scepters. Ooh, so it could be a woman behind this. It don't got to be a man. It could be four women that are behind this gossiping and lying and manipulating things to keep the, it in their favor. I did say that there's somebody that's in this nine or keeping you in this nine of Scepters energy. And it could be because of their own benefit. It's going on behind your back with this moon card right here. Kind of suit. What's the six of swords? Ooh, we. Ooh, queen of scepter. Or <laughs> queen of unks. Teta Sherry, the mother of kings. So it could be that you want to escape towards a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or they got a highly asked. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're trying to escape towards them, um, King of Wonks. You want to sneak towards this person because this is your partner. Look at that. Wow. A set. Yes. That's who was in there. A set and a star. I showed y'all earlier. The, the lover's card. So this person is a set. So a set and a star coming together. Beautiful. But of course you ain't gonna come together in a simple way because there's always someone that's gotta do some conniving, sneaky things. So I feel like the Seven of Swords not only represents you doing something, having to do something sly to connect with your partner, but I also feel like this is where this sabotage energy is coming from, but you moving away from it, being guided to move away. And in a way, keep things quiet and don't say anything about this connection. Keep your emotions mature so this is indicating you're not going to express too much okay because so you're very passionate about this person they ignite your fire okay i feel like you're gonna have a lot of passionate times with this person and this is confirmed like the ten of scarabs is happening for y'all but with this five of swords it's like their sabotage is trying to continue to happen for this for these two lovers to come together people are spying and watching that's why you got to keep stuff quiet that's why the hermit card came out so when you do come in contact with this person i would not say uh, nothing to a no one don't post it don't show pictures no nothing okay the seven the dish y'all gonna harvest together i feel like this person is working on something as well so together you're gonna build this legacy what's the seven of this <laughs> king of scarabs i told you the ace of scarabs coming out and then what's this the eight of swords listen don't put yourself in the wrong mindset fire signs because the divine is giving you this gift i feel like this person is a gift so this person is very talented they have they're multifaceted is what i'm hearing so they have a lot of different things and attributes that they can bring to the table to help build things for you this person probably has their own business as well. So they're not going to be depending on you for finances. If anything, they're going to help you build your, your kingdom. Yeah. People just going to be a regret. Whoa. <laughs> this is talking about this queen. Yep. There is. There is a, a woman behind the scenes doing something. And this person is crying at night. Or they're trying to cause some type of like magic to happen with the moon card right here. But look, Ahmed is here. She like. No, this person's heart is going to be weighed on the scale. They don't got the right energy, man. They can see that they have a lot of deceptive ways about themselves. They do things very hasty and very fast. Continue to keep on blocking your energy and protect what it is that you care about. Okay, because I feel like I, 
I mean, we had the Emperor card come out. So it's like, you're standing in a good position. You just got to make the right choices and you will be fine. All right. So that's what I have for my fire signs. I hope you got something and enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, talk to y'all later. Deuces.